Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and otherwise. I'm Lamar Haven. Welcome back to Mega Man X. We're taking on the second Sigma level today. And I'm going to be going ahead and using the homing missile for this section, because you don't get much more useful than a homing missile. Alright, so I'm going to start showing off some of the powers when you charge them. Not there, unfortunately. Alright, let's charge it up. It turns into the uh, homing stuff that Launch Octopus likes to use. The uh, fish homing missiles. Uh-oh. Uh. Get away! Dang it, that's gonna respawn him. Alright, and now we've got a Maverick fight. Chill Penguin? Chill Penguin. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the X-Buster here. Charge up all the way, since he's giving me the opportunity. There we go. So much easier to hit three buttons at once when you're using a controller as opposed to a keyboard. There's a, a bug in a lot of games that I play when in this method, where if you use too many buttons on your keyboard at once, it doesn't accept the input. Ah, darn it. Sometimes you can sneak one in. Good charge shot in. Uh, too slight. Too late, I mean. Uh, nope, got ya. Trying to sneak one hit in at the very end, just like you did last time, huh, Chill Penguin? Well, that's the end of him. So let's see if I can't show off Chameleon's power when charged. I am now invincible. I should have grabbed that machine. <laughs> and I can fire Chill Penguin's power while doing that. Alright, let me go ahead and just grab this. Because this is a section where this is useful. Getting our sub tanks up, which is good. That'll mean less farming later when we need them. Just die. Alright. Alright, and when you use that, it becomes a shield that will burn itself gone if you hit an enemy. Uh, that's the Flame Mammoth power. It's actually more useful as a flamethrower, I'll be honest. Uh, I've shown you Storm Eagles. Let's see if I can't... Sh oh, well, it's time to use... Chameleon's power, because speaking of Storm Eagle, here we go. It's best not to fire off Sting Chameleon shot right away, because if he's off screen, it can sort of bug and not accept the hit. Oops. Storm Eagle is probably the hardest boss to get by without taking a hit. I'm doing terrible. Nope. Stop that. Alright, and that's the end of him. I'll move on to Spark Mandrill's power and show you guys that in just a sec. It does that. A nice, uh, very useful attack. And that would be Boomer Quangers. It's hard to aim Boomer Quangers' power sometimes, but you can. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's 
Uh, I can't get a homing missile in. Let's skip him. We have another boss to show off. And this time, we've got ourselves a mini boss. Pretty sure... Spark Banjo? No, that's weird. Let me look it up real fast. I do have all these written down, and I don't remember these very well. Uh, this one is chameleon thing, it says in my notes. Which I don't have much of, so I may have to forego chameleon sting. Well, there you go! Apparently it's right. This guy gets wrecked by chameleon sting. Alright, well, he has pretty set patterns, depending on the color of his eye, he does a different attack. Yep. He could also go off screen annoyingly. So let's go ahead and switch to my personal favorite, the homing missile. I'll go ahead and charge it up to get a better shot. The, the color of the eye doesn't always determine how the attack works, I should say. Which is weird, because he did just use his red eye and just charged me, as opposed to what I expected. Once you get all the eyes down, his, the nose phase just repeats itself. So the nose will just come over and over a charge at you. But because that's a set pattern, it's pretty easy to avoid. So, one more hit ought to do it. Got it before... <laughs> That was a weird glitch. It should have shot three shots, but only shot two. That's the end of the face boss. I don't remember its name. I really don't care. It's just the face boss. But now we get to move on to the next level of Sigma's Fortress. So here we are. Here we should fight the last of the Mavericks that are left over, as well as anything else that stands in our way, and get to Sigma. So this boss is going to be... Armored Armadillo. And we know what he's weak against. Alright. Let's get rid of that annoying shield of yours. Uh, I'm trying to sneak in too many hits. You might notice that I rarely use the actual powered up version of the powers on my own. That's because they take so much weapon energy, they're not very practical all the time. And that's the end of Armored Armadillo. Let's keep going. Only immediately to be followed by another boss. They had to pack them all together pretty tightly in this level because we have so many left. And this one is going to be Sting Chameleon, who is weak against Boomerang Cutter. Oh, I missed it. I was gonna do, uh, in one of my practice runs, I managed to do a perfect run of this guy. I got him stuck in a, in a AI loop that made it impossible for him to escape. It's this, right here. You step over a little bit, use that, and he doesn't stand a chance. Boomerang Cutter hits him every time. Like I said, the bosses in this game are very easy to cheese. Let's get you out of the way. 
and go back to Boomerang Cutter. Oopsies. Use that. Use that. Alright, next boss. Spark Mandrill. You can tell by the way the level is set up. They're always the telltale signs of their original boss fight. And now, we cheese Spark Mandrill. Oh, I never showed... I'll show Ice Shotgun's uh, power-up after this. But, yeah. <laughs> not impressive, not interesting, just cheese. And he's gone. Alright, so I'll show you what happens when you charge this up. It's actually kind of cool. See? It creates a little platform that moves on its own. Alright, Launch Octopus. What was Launch Octopus speak against? I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh... No, no. Here we go. Armored Armadillo. So let's get started. Oh, Launch Octopus. It's so... You're actually one of the more difficult boxes, even when I have your weakness. It's too bad it's not enough. It's never enough, is it? Sigma putting all of these things in our way to try and stop us. Ro uh, Maverick's trying to get their revenge on us for defeating them and destroying their cause. And it's all just a stroll through the park from X now. He's gotten a lot stronger, we've gotten a lot better, and nothing's really going to stop us. Um, up there, I think you can use Sting Chameleon's power to get all those. I don't remember 100%. You might have to use uh, Chill Penguin's powered up power to do it. But oh well. And today we're face, and this time we're facing Flame Mammoth, who, unlike I thought earlier, is actually weak to Storm Eagle's power. So that, in my opinion, Storm Eagle's power is better for her thing I said earlier. It's not just opinion, it's, it's kind of the entire point. But you can still use Boomer Kwanger's power to remove his trunk if you so desire. All that keeps him from doing is that. It keeps him from putting those oil slicks on the ground, which he can burn later and cause problems with. But preventing him from doing, like, one attack isn't a big enough reason to switch from using his weakness, honestly. So that's the end of him. And I'm keeping Storm Eagle's power equipped, because we now have the boss of this level. As I dub him... Monster Truck! <laughs> Alright, this boss can be a little difficult if you don't understand how its patterns work. Actually, he's not weak against Storm Eagle's power, that's strange. Yeah, I had conflicting information when I looked this boss up. It turns out he's weak to Spark Mandrill's power. But I saw Spark Mandrill, I saw Storm Eagle, and I saw, like, one other power. But yeah, it's Spark Mandrill. My apologies. Uh, missed that dodge. So the key to this boss is one, if you stand on him and the top and bottom are synchronized, you have to get off immediately, otherwise he crushes down. Two, don't be on the wall when he hit smashes the wall or that happens. See how much damage that did? Yeah. You can get him stuck in a bit of a loop if you're careful, hard to move while you're on him. I'm running out of Spark Mandrill's power. Secondly, he gets faster as you fight him. Uh. 
Alright. And that happens. You can get run over. Oh, we got lucky there. Alright, just keep the pressure on. I'm gonna go ahead and use the sub tank. Oops, not the button I was supposed to press. There we go. That might not have been enough. Oop, nope, gotta get out. At least the speed makes the face not last as long. And I died. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys when we get back to that. Oh, right. It spawns us right there. I, I, I forgot. Um, and we don't have Spark Mandrill's power. So we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I'm not very good at this boss. I apologize. I really shouldn't have died there. But what are you going to do? Just keep hitting him with X Buster. Uh, I was even expecting him to stay there. This is one of the most challenging bosses in the game if you don't understand the pattern. And unfortunately, since I've been doing the pattern wrong, he's been looking a lot harder than he should be. Oop. And then I got hit again. Yeah, the X-Buster's probably more useful than any of the other powers. As long as you know how to use it intelligently. Alright. Lure the blast somewhere else. And you're supposed to not get hit, but I apparently suck at that. Alright, one more shot ought to do it. And that's the end of the monster truck. And X is too cool to look at explosions. So thank you very much for watching, folks. And I'll catch you next time in the finale when we finally take on Sigma himself. <laughs>